I just have to have one right here. <laughs> this is this is the uh, there it is. purity water filter right here. Yeah. The way this is built um, is something that I'm really excited about. Um, just so that you know, I think Deanna said that I have 16 patents and this is going to be 17. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye. 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 That application was put in yesterday to the U.S. Patent Office, so this is now a patent pending product, um, and we're very excited about that. But anyway, here's how it works. You have an outer shell, you know how light that is, okay, and then you Touches that zeolite will be stabbed, I guess is the best way to say it, by the, electric, by the molecular spear which pierces the cell wall and kills the organism on the Zeolite is also a wonderful material for removing heavy metals. Yeah. So, We've done some preliminary testing on the filter with a single pass at three times the rated flow rate of our filter, which means we test things at a pretty strenuous level. We were removing over 50% of the lead that was in the water stream at three times the rated flow rate. So this is very good. Um, then inside this, the part that you can't see very well, uh, is a pleated filter that's made from a revolutionary new material that is very exciting to me. Um, it's a nano glass fiber. I don't know if you're familiar with that. But what that means is that uh, it's very small. <laughs> a very small fiber. And the very small fiber here is also surface treated with what's called a high zeta treatment. And a high zeta simply means that it has a very strong electropositive charge. Most, uh, most organisms that you will find uh, have a negative charge, a natural negative charge. And so the high zeta material works like a magnet. And it actually will pull the contaminants out of the stream you have ever tried to drink filtered water before? Any of you tried to drink it out of a filter bottle? Yes. And, and was it a frustrating experience? Yes. Okay. The reason for that is that the holes have to be very small in order to capture the, the organisms. You saw the picture. Um, I can give you a kind of little bit of an uh, example here. A human, hair, a human hair is 100 microns in diameter. So if you were to cut a human hair in half and look at it in the microscope, from one side of the circle to the other would be 100 microns. A cryptosporidium, or a giardia, which are the two major causes of uh, waterborne illness, are protozoans. And these 
critters range between 3 microns and 5 microns, okay? A bacteria, like E. coli, which was shown on the screen, is an average size of 0.2 microns, which means they're 10 times smaller than the protozoan, okay? And then a virus, the average size of virus, are in the 20 to 40 nanometer range, which means they are about 100 times smaller than bacteria. So you can start to get an idea of how small the holes have to be in a filter in order to protect you. But by using the high zeta principle, we can have larger holes and still pull those particles out of the water that are And so you don't have to suck so hard that you cave your temples in every time. <laughs>